This video is brought to you by Draeger's Classics. Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse where I want to show you a very neat 1937 Ford Street Rod. Now this, what makes this car neat is the guy that built it. Dean is a local uh, streetcar builder here in the Northwest, has been around for many, many years. This car he built 29, 30 years ago. It's got 23,000 miles on it. It's got a 350 Chevy in it. And it's got a jag rear end. He put Dean put rear uh, jag rear ends in all his street cars. He had two other cars, had a '33 Ford uh, coupe, all steel and everything. It was just a beautiful car, jag rear end in it, and that's just the way he did them all. And and uh, this car, he he did all the work himself. He built this top. This top is aluminum, and of course he put the Hart's cloth uh, canvas over the top of it has four bolts to take it off. Now this car was originally a coupe and he made it into a uh, street rod uh, uh, with a Carson hardtop on the thing. And I want to tell you that the paint on this car is absolutely beautiful. I mean this is one of those kind of paint jobs that you're going to spend 30 grand for or more, maybe 40 grand to get them this nice. I mean it just, the finish is beautiful. And if you notice I haven't been pointing out bad spots in the paint because I don't know of any. I mean, and this is an old, you know, it's been around a long time. Wait till you see the photos of the underside, how clean it is and how nice it is. I mean, everything he did, it's just like here, the gas cap's got a little uh, plunger on it here to open it up. It just goes around. Everything looks good on here. He got the, uh, to open this up, you just got to reach underneath here with your foot and you lift up in this right spot here. And the door will open up, and you can open it. And, it, of course, you can see how nice and clean it is, but we'll show you that even more. But look at this. I mean, look how nice that closes. I mean, uh, Dean was an artist. I mean, he was a street rod artist. He just he built things clean and simple and nice. I don't know if you noticed the wheels on here yet, but those are, those are uh, knockoffs. They're not, uh, they're one single nut holds the whole thing on. Now to open up the hood on this car, you have to reach down underneath here, right there, and pull. And that lifts it up. And you lift it up here, and then there's a safety catch behind. And he's, he uses neat stuff on here to, to, uh, to do this with. 350 Chevy engine in here runs really well. Of course, it's, you know, it's only got 23,000 miles on it. Uh, and that's all the miles on this whole chassis since it was built and you can see we've got air conditioning here and there's no heat in this car but it's got air conditioning uh, it's, of course you can see the polished air cleaner on here and it's got an Edelbrock uh, carburetor on here and this top I was sat here and I looked at it and I wondered how am I going to get this top off and discovered you got to twist it around till it gets up high enough and then then you can spin the uh, the top loose you just got to go with it until you get it to the right spot. There we go. There we go. It's off. And you can see we got an Edelbrock in there and everything uh, looks all good. Edelbrock intake manifold. So all that looks real good and everything. Again, of course, put this on. You got to set this down in here. Set, you can see there's a spot right there for the stud to go in. And you get that, you gotta find it. Well, somewhere in there you can find it. And then you can twist this around once or so until you get it 
started and then you just keep spinning this I've not seen an air cleaner like this but it's sure clean and nice and that's of course part of uh, Dean's deal everything he did was uh, really smooth and clean you can see the firewall on this rig see how nice it, it all is now we haven't ever detailed this car this is just the way we got it and I've had it for a little while I haven't really been in any big hurry to sell it and it uh, you know it just it looks really good the finish work I mean all this stuff along here and even like right here square head screws and all this along in the, in this deal I mean chrome rods on here he finished the underside on here a bit. It's got a kind of a wrinkle finish under there. But, you know, it's like this here for this uh, catch right here. This is off of a Porsche that goes in here, as I remember right, is what he told me. So, I mean, it just, it's just neat stuff that he's done to this car. He's got this, he's got everything just really nice on here. It's clean and nice. It looks beautiful. And you can just drop that hood right down there. It closes good. Now, he, these bumper, it's, he welded these pieces on on the bumper here so that they uh, it's all there's no bolts holding it on and everything just really clean and nice on here but uh, again it's just it's just a stunning car same thing here on this door does the same thing it also has an opener for both sides inside plus the remote has uh, an opener on it or does it no it doesn't either it just, those are your openers on there. I was thinking of another car, and again, it just closes nice. Now, there's one thing on this car, and I didn't realize it. Dean may have told me this fender here is fiberglass. You can't tell it. You got it. The only way you're going to know it is put a magnet on it. It's fiberglass, so that's just the way it is. He built in the, the tail lights on here, so you can see that. And then right uh, up there is a, you've got a center light there. And then under the trunk, you just reach underneath there. There's a lever right there. And you can lift this up. And this has got a little safety catch on there. And there's a car cover in here. Jumper cables. Look at these jumper cables. This is for the, uh, this plugs in underneath the uh, floorboard. We'll show you that in the underside photos. And you can just see how nice and clean this is in here. It's nothing fancy about it. It's finished. Even underneath here, it's finished. And, and on the bottom side of the trunk lid, notice that this tab right here, or the, it going down in here, that's a, that's a Porsche uh, hood latch thing. And, of course, these are spring-loaded on both sides here to push the trunk up so you can get it open when you uh, pull the lever there. And, of course, she's got this lockout on here and you just have to twist it. There's a little lever right there. Just twist it, bring it around, drop it, and it's closed. And again, everything looks beautiful. I mean, I'd like to show you something bad on it, but I don't know where it would be. I think you'll find that this is just an outstanding car. I mean, you look down the sides, all this stuff. It just, it's just a gorgeous car. Really well done. And we're going to show you some more of what I mean by really well done. I, I mean, you can see how nice the fit is on this car and everything. So now we're going to take the top off. I have, we have never taken the top off, so this is a first for us. We don't know what we're doing, but we got the four bolts out of it, and so we're going to lift it off now. So far, so good. Except I think we got to lift on the front. Okay, you got to lift on the front a little bit. There we go. We're off. We're going back with it. Now you can see the inside of this, how well it's finished and everything. I mean, everything that Dean did, it's very well done. Everything fits really well. I'm sure he spent hours making sure that this top just fit the, the uh, car. Anyway, it's all aluminum. It's not that heavy. This interior, of course, is beautiful, done in a, in a, I don't know, velour, I guess. We have an armrest here in between the seats. We have these little jump seats back here. And you have a little space on each side where you can store things on here. That, of course, is solid. And you can see everything, you know, it just looks brand new everywhere you go. Even though it's been together about 30 years, 
And look at how nice that goes back in there. And it, there's a speaker right here. I don't know if that's anything. There might be another speaker under there. Dean was an artist, as I've told you before. You know, here's, of course, where the slot, where the, where the uh, top goes down in. And, but look at how nice all this across here. And he put the little rubber bumper in here for the top to set on. And, but all this finish work across here is all great. And he did a really nice job putting this uh, uh, third tail light in there. I mean, it, it just goes all the way across and continues on across here. Here's the antenna right here. I mean, it all fits nice and works really good. And again, it, it just all nice finish work all the way. And, you know, and just everything fits good all along. As you come forward here, uh, you can see that, like the dash. Look at how beautiful that dash is. The finish work on there, it's smooth, simple clean. I mean, everything Dean does is, I mean, it's just first rate all the way through. You can see we got the video gauges in here. This is a tilt column, so you can go up and down with it. It has power steering, too, so you've got all the, all the good stuff to go with it. But i got to tell you, the detail is, is like right here. Let me show you over here, because Andrew's over here close. Look at here. He uses these in inserted uh, square head screws in here, or Allen head screws, and look at the finish work down here, and there's a little button there for the, on the, for the lights, and you can see they work. And look at this speaker right here. Both sides got really good speaker built in on there, and of course we got air conditioning underneath here, and you got an AM, FM cassette radio in here with CD player, and it just, it's really good. We have seat belts, and of course, look here, you can see this on the seat belts, Right here, the uh, it's built into the uh, into it, so you, your seat belts. This one he didn't build it in, but you can. They work just great. So I mean, the interior on this thing is is gorgeous, and again, you can see all the finish work. I mean, this is one of those kind of cars. When you look underneath here, underneath the dash, everything's finished good. I don't know how well you can see it up in there. It's dark, but you can see how well it's done. Everything is just very precise. I guess it would be the best way to say how how Dean did this uh, car. I mean, this is an outstanding car. This is far better than most cars you'll ever find. It wasn't a slap together process. I'm sure it took him a few years to uh, get it finished. And uh, I mean, he did it right. Again, you can see how clean, nice it is. Again, he used the Allen head in here. I mean, the detail on Dean's work is incredible. This is just for de decoration. Same here, I wasn't sure if there might have been speakers in there, but there's no speakers in there. So you got four speakers in this front and rear. And again, you can, I've done this before already for you. Look how nice that closes. It's just all nice and clean. It well done, the fits really good. I just like the whole feel of this car and how well uh, Dean uh, put it together. It just looks great. You'll be real happy with it. And you can see, it, I mean, this whole car is this way. You can see there's no rub marks on here or anything. He used, of course, the Allen screws in here. It all fits good, all goes down here. The whole thing looks great. Now, we wanted to show you how the air works on this, and uh, we tried it, and the, it didn't blow cold. So we just took it down to Acme Auto Electric here in Seattle. They do our air conditioning for us, and uh, they charged it. It was, it was low. Oops. And the knob to turn the air on is right underneath here. So you can see, it puts out cold air, so it, it works quite well. Let's see how the gauges all work. And you can see everything going up, the oil pressure works good. There's 23,125 miles on here. You can see the alternator works good. Temperature we have, a, we've run it a little bit so the temperature's up and we're out of gas. The gas gauge works. I'll show you how the radio works now. So I got a, the power button right here. So here's, and say, and that really shouldn't come as a big shockwave. 
and that's Good somewhere will. around here. I think because the band is right here. Lives. You push this yep. button right there for changing the different. Uh, you know, it's got several bands on here for the. Now you're on FM. And then if you want CD, it's right there. Now the windows, they're right here. And you just push up for either side for them going up or down. They're electric windows. The other side works the same. So there's the park light, headlight, and it's got a toggle switch underneath here for high beam and low beam. Left turn signal, right turn signal. Got a horn. The wipers work. We showed you that already, I believe. So there's the park lights, there's the tail lights on, brake lights, turn signal left, turn signal right. So Dean had a uh, bumper uh, cover made and he made this, had this bra made. We just looked to see if there was lights going to be in here. Maybe he had the idea he was going to put some lights underneath the behind the grill there I don't know uh, it's uh, I assume this is the way it was supposed to be made to fit just kind of like that me I'm gonna leave it off so I just wanted to show it to you it comes with it also we have a screen that goes over the uh, grill too now Dean didn't leave anything to chance and he made and everything was really good. You can see how heavy duty these uh, cables are. Most of the cables you buy now today are just flimsy and they don't work real good. So they're long and of course he's got this plug in here, this male receptor here and underneath right about here is a, a female receptor and you can plug that in. I think it goes this way, it plugs in and uh, you can you can charge the battery that way. Uh, you could jump start somebody. The mirrors on this car are small, but they do work. A little hard to see out of this right side one. You can see they're not very big. The 37's been sitting for a couple of days. I just, we just didn't have time to uh, finish up videoing, so we're going to start it right now. And then you can see how it starts. been sitting for a long time. Anyway, you can see it starts right up, and I'll bet if he started it again right now, I'll bet it starts fast. to tell you looking at a car like this for the underside it's pretty neat I mean look at this piece here he's filled it in just to finish it off nice this right here is the trunk release for the for the trunk you got to reach underneath here and pull that and you can open the trunk up anytime you want and it, you can see everything looks clean and nice we haven't cleaned on this thing any at all I mean this is just the way it came in and it's got what 22,000 miles on it 20 some odd years since it was built and finished and uh, so you can see it just really clean everything looks really nice on the thing right here is the uh, electric fuel pump and, and a fuel filter coming out of the tank uh, you know look up here you can see how this is uh, built 
He built that to go all the way across and connect in, and it goes up forward there for this uh, Jaguar end to hang on the underside here. This is where Dean was known for. He, uh, he put Jaguar rear ends in all his uh, street rods. When I bought this car, he had two other street rods besides this one. One was a uh, Ford Vicky he just had just bought, and it was all street rotted, but did not have the rear end in it yet. And he had the rear end sitting on the floor next to the car so he could uh, install it, but he just never got around to it. And as you can see, this Jag's all nice. You've got the dual shocks for here, the, the uh, indoor uh, ins inboard disc brakes on here on the Jag rear end. I mean, everything looks good. It's really tight along here. I mean, he's, he's fit this in here quite well on, the, on these wheels and stuff. They're just right there. You can just see a little bit of a rub on this side, and I, and I see a little bit there. That's how tight it is. But uh, he's ran it all this way, and it, you can just see everything looks just really well done. See the floor pans underneath here are all good. I do not know how this car was uh, before he uh, started on it. Uh, as uh, you know, it was a coupe originally, and he made it into the. Uh, Carson hardtop on here, but uh, you know, I just, I mean, all this stuff just looks really well done. I don't see any rust on here or anything, and maybe there was some rust in here and he's repaired it. I can't answer that, and we can't ask Dean anymore, so uh, you can just kind of look at it and see how good it is. Everything looks real good in here. You can see the exhaust system all looks really nice. Here's a transmission oil cooler here, and here's the uh, seat belt uh, for this side. I mean, he set them underneath here so they come up through the floor. Some of the neat things that uh, Dean did, just they're just clean, uh, smooth looking. Just, he did everything really, really nicely done. So here's your master cylinder sitting right here. Uh, you know, it's a split brake system on here with, of course, you got four wheel disc brakes. But look at here, he put these uh, heat shields on here. There's one on the other side over there too. Uh, right right here so that that's against the battery there and this is a master cylinder and so he you know he, he did a lot of little neat things that uh, most guys don't do this is garth says the battery box right there underneath here and uh, it's easy to get to from the top side but uh, this is the bottom of that the turbo 350 and it all looks clean and nice and again this frame all looks good there's their horns right here. I mean, he had everything out of sight as much as possible to keep everything looking clean. And then, then he does neat things too. Now here's a uh, a battery shutoff switch right here. It's a little hard to get to. You got to get down and reach up in here to get to it. But here's the, another neat feature. He had a set of a jumper cables made uh, for, and they plug in right here so that when if the battery is dead, it could plug into it and uh, connect uh, to a jumper battery or give us somebody else a jump I suppose if you wanted to so it, it just part of what uh, he did to make this just an outstanding car. Dean really made sure this thing was kept up nice I he did he doesn't look like it was driven in the rain at all all, all this and I mean you look at this pan I'm sitting there I'm looking at a thing and I said did we put a new pan on it but we didn't this is just the way this thing came in, really clean. The engine up in there looks all just, it all looks like new. All the, all the connections and everything across here. Mustang 2 uh, front end, I'm sure that's what it is. And, uh, you know, we guys got big caliper disc brakes on the front here. And it, it just all looks in really good condition. Here's your power rack and pinion steering right here. And of course, the heavy duty sway bar on here. And you see the bottom of the radiator. And if you want to know what this is, it's, he's got the shroud on the radiator. And he just, he's put that on here to, to keep that uh, solid right there. And it, there, I can see a little scratching right here on the front where it's probably rubbed on something like going into a curbing or something along those lines. But other, otherwise, it's, uh, everything looks real good in here. You can see up in there, but there's not a whole lot to see.
Ah, we got a nice day today to do the uh, freeway drive for you. It's about a six and a half mile drive from the time we leave here to the time we get back. Well, we're going up on the freeway northbound now so you get a chance to see this thing run and drive. And it accelerates quite well. Now I have to tell you, this, this particular uh, street rod is really put together well. Dean really did a nice job on it. It runs good, it drives good, it feels good. It runs quite well too. Speedometer shows about 56 miles an hour on there, so you get a chance to see what it says on the real life. And it runs quite well. You gotta like the way this looks. It sure drives nice. I'm not even stepping it on all the way. Now you get to see this, uh, the right side of the uh, street rod. And I will step on it here. I, uh, oh well. <laughs> it's such a short shot in here, I, I can't do much. <laughs> I know this street rod looks really well. But I gotta tell you, it drives really well. I have to tell you, this is the first time I've taken it out and driven it with the top off. And I really like it with the top off. And I think it's really beautiful with the top on. I mean, you know, you look at the photos and the video and you can see with the top on and it, the top is so well done and so nice on this car. It just looks great. But boy, what you can't have any more fun than having it off and driving around. Now, I gotta tell you, this thing, this is really rough road in all this construction work right here. And uh, this thing just rides really well. I mean, you can feel the bumps and stuff, but it still rides good. Because you know you got four wheel independent suspension on here with that Jag rear end. And it's quiet, it's tight, doesn't rattle. And just the way you wanna own a car like this. Well, we're back to Gregor's, and I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, uh, freeway drive so you get an idea how well this uh, 37 works and runs and drives I mean it's just a great car we have two 37 Fords in stock right now so uh, both street rods I mean I, I like the stock ones too but if you're at any at all interested in this car give us a call at 206 533 9600 thank you I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video and understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try, and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them 
And if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.